On the deadline for protesters to disband the pro-Palestinian encampment at Columbia University has come and gone as we give you this live look now. That deadline was set for 2 p.m. Eastern time. We're now 21 past the hour. So those students were told to clear out or risk being suspended. That warning almost immediately challenged from the protesters. Let's bring in News Nation's Rich McHugh, who has been covering these protests for days at this point. Rich, uh, Rich joins us live on the phone. Rich, kind of walk us through the scene there right now. Sure, Nicole. So uh, this is unlike anything I've ever seen here at Columbia, and I've spent a lot of time on this campus. Uh, not what I expected, I'll be honest. So I walked in, and there's uh thousands of students kind of walking in uh, almost parade like fashion around the encampment um holding flags of palestine uh chanting intifada uh from the river to the sea um it's literally probably thousands maybe two or two thousand students um bullhorns and no sign of stopping. It's, it's hard to actually see into the encampment. It looks like there's something going on. It looks like there's, there's, it's, it's hard to tell if they're university officials or what, but uh, going, you know, kind of tense to tense. Uh, some, there are, it looks like there are some less tense now than there were. Um, but the, <laughs> from the look of it, the, the support that these students have in the encampment from other students is uh is kind of overwhelming um so where this goes is, is hard to say but it's just uh it's, it's kind of wild i'll be honest it's uh so, there's so many people holding these flags and, and chanting i think we have some pictures that i sent in just a minute ago but it's um if they try and bring the police in here this is this is not going to go go too well well rich I, I wanted to ask you that because I know that university officials had warned students that they needed to clear out this encampment or they did risk the threat of suspension. Arrest was not mentioned. However, I know that we have seen police respond before, not only on the campus of Columbia University, but at other campuses across the country. Are you seeing any signs of any type of law enforcement there on campus at this point? Any sign of law enforcement on campus? Is that what you asked? Yes. No, they're all on the periphery. So where I just was uh, recently, out, right on the outside of campus, police are lined up, um, looking like you know they, they made an arrest right before my eyes. I don't know if it was a Columbia student or somebody else, but they're they're out there. Um, but I, again, they have to be called in by the university to do anything. And one of the officers I spoke with said we haven't been we haven't been asked in. So uh, they say that they're ready, but if they were to come in here, it would, they'd need a lot more police than they have outside right now. And last question for you, Rich. I know you said that it appeared the students uh, were marching around in that encampment. Really no signs of, of a significant takedown of those tents. You said there may be fewer. But at this point, does the protesting appear to still be remaining peaceful? <laughs> the pro I, it's a little hard to hear your last question, but it, it looks like the encampment. Let me just walk up here. It looks like the encampment is still going strong. Like it's kind of calm in there, if that makes any sense. The students just milling about, uh, and the, the students who I'm kind of standing next to are, pro, are parading around the encampment, uh, holding flags and chanting. So it doesn't look like there's any breakdown of what's going on in the encampment or from the student body here. That's that's my perspective. Right. Um, Are we seeing any back and forth? Because we have seen in the past confrontations between protesters, between counter protesters. Does that appear to be the case right now? That there's a, sorry, say that one more time. Is there a breakdown between? Are we seeing any type of contention, uh, any type of confrontations between protesters no. and counter protesters? No. Okay. I mean, I, 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 the sense that I get is most of these students that we're seeing are not Jewish students okay. uh, supporting this. And it's, it's mostly just people who are calling for this, uh, I guess, in Safada. It's a rare break in the noise, but people are still student, or they're still parading around the whole. All right. Um, this is quite a, quite a scene. Well, and again, just to recap for our viewers, uh, Columbia University had issued a 2 p.m. local time deadline for students there, those student protesters, to take down 
that encampment that they have put up on the campus. Those students have not done that. The deadline is now just uh, 26 minutes exactly having passed. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.